So the question is, can your thoughts make you well? And so we said to people, okay, trade resentment and impatience and frustration for an elevated emotion like gratitude or appreciation, kindness and care. We'll hook you up to a heart rate monitor. We want to make sure that your heart is coherent so we know that you're actually feeling these emotions. And we're going to, we're going to measure an, an immunoglobulin called immunoglobulin A, which is really the primary defense against bacteria and virus in your body. It's the body's natural flu shot. And it, it, it's suppressed when cortisol levels go up because stress hormones shut down the immune system. So could a person then create an elevated emotion and the body is so objective that it does not know the difference between a real life experience that's creating that emotion and the emotion that that person is fabricating by thought alone to the body. It's the unconscious mind. It's the same. So if the person feels the elevated emotion, will they begin to signal new genes uh, that will make new proteins? And we discovered that that particular immunoglobulin A went up by 50% in, in the subjects that we measured. So feeling elevated emotions causes the body to upregulate genes and, and allow the immune system to repair and regenerate. Now, that study was our first study.